The Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Antum mufuna sab'ina ummah, antum khayruha wa akramuha ala Allah. He said, you, O Muslims, you are the last of 70 nations to have walked the earth. However, you are the greatest and most honorable of all of them in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, When Allah Almighty decides that the judgment is now to begin on the day of standing, a caller will call out, an announcement will be made. And he will say, where is Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa and his people? Where are the Muslims? We are the first to have the accountability. The Prophet ﷺ then says, therefore we are the first and we are the last. We are the last in terms of the nations to walk the earth. But we are the first whom Allah Almighty will hold accountable Yawm Al Qiyamah. And then he continues and he says, giving you an idea of what the Muslims will look like on this day. He says, فَتُفْرَجُ لَنَا الْأُمَمُ عَنْ طَرِيقِنَا فَنَمْضِي غُرًّا مُحَجَّلِينَ مِنْ أَثَرِ الطُّهُورِ فَتَقُولُ الْأُمَمُ كَادَتْ هَذِهِ الْأُمَّةِ أَنْ تَكُونَ أَنْبِيَاءَ كُلُّهَا Allahu Akbar He says then the nations of the world after Allah has called us out the nations of the world on Yawm Al-Qiyamah the millions that had amassed they will split into two and they will make for us a path in the middle and the Muslims will now walk in the middle making their way to the court of Allah Almighty. The Prophet says with light emanating from their foreheads and emanating from their feet because of the effects of wudu. Your face and your feet will be beaming with light because of the effects of wudu and all of the other nations will be looking at the Muslims as they walk between them towards Allah in awe and admiration and they will say to one another it was almost as if every one of these people was a prophet La ilaha illallah. but it doesn't stop there the believers will also be made as witnesses for the prophets we will be made as witnesses we will be witnesses Called as witnesses, يوم القيامة يدعى نوح يوم القيامة فيقول لبيك وسعليك فيقول هل بلغت فيقول نعم ثم يقول لأمة نوح هل بلغكم فيقولون ما جاءنا من نذير الله أكبر Nuh alayhi salam will be brought forward on the day of judgment to be asked and spoken to by Allah the prophets now are going to be questioned as well. فَلَنَسْأَلَنَّ الَّذِينَ أُرْسِلَ إِلَيْهِمْ وَلَنَسْأَلَنَّ الْمُرْسَلِينَ The messengers are going to be asked as well. Nuh, Allah will say to him, Have you conveyed the message of Islam to your people? He will say, Yes, O oh Allah, of course. Then Allah Almighty will turn to the people of Nuh, these cheeky and treacherous people. And he will say to them, Did Nuh convey the message of Islam to you? And they will say, No warner was ever sent to us. A treacherous, betraying people, 950 years, Nuh alayhi salam, spent calling them to Islam. And after that time, they say, no messenger came to us. Allahu Akbar. Then Allah Almighty will say to Nuh alayhi salam, man yashhadu lak. Who can witness for you that you're speaking the truth? And Allah knows that he's speaking the truth. He will say, Muhammadun wa ummatuh. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will witness for me and the Muslims. His followers, his ummah will witness for me. We are witnesses also for the prophets as well. Why then should a Muslim lower his head? Why then should a Muslim be pressured to shave his beard? Why then should a sister be pushed to decorating or removing her hijab? Fearing public opinion, brothers and sisters, don't give people more attention than they deserve. If we don't learn this today, we will see it Yawm Al-Qiyamah. Don't give people more attention than they deserve. Make Allah the focus of your attention because He said that you are great. And when Allah Almighty gives the mantle of honor around the person's neck and says you are great, nobody can take it away from you.